If you wanna be my man Ah, you gotta meet me in the middle, darling If you wanna be my man I'm not trying to do this by myself Even though you think I can making concessions cause it's all about give and take but you don't ever want to give in and it's making my poor heart ache you gotta meet me in the middle baby if you want to be my man I'm not trying to do this by myself It's all about you and I should just give in Sometimes you need to hear what I want Now where do I begin? You need to meet me in the middle, baby If you want to be my man I'm not trying to do this by myself Even though you think I can It is Artist Direct on FM 100.5, brought to you by Singing Hammers Construction. That was uh, the Susan Williams Band performing Meet Me in the Middle from their, yes. New, yes, from their new album, uh, Tell It Like It Is, released back in January. And uh, we are on the line, actually, with Susan Williams. Hi, hey, Sus- good morning, Susan. Good morning, Jenny. How are you? I'm good. And meet my friend John. Susan, you and I have had a chance to meet, but you and John have never met, so this is a good time. Introductions, John, Susan, Susan, John. <laughs> Hi, John. <laughs> Hi, Susan. Um, so uh, t- tell me a little bit about that song. Did you perform that at the International Blues Challenge? I did, yes. Um, I did. It's one of my... Um favorite songs, although I guess I like them all since I wrote them. <laughs> right, good point. I was uh, going to say, that, I, I love that song in, in particular. Not only does it say something, but I love the harmonies on that song. Yeah. Oh, well, thank you. I actually um, ended up harmonizing with myself, you know, in the studio. Um, and 
you know, I like to sing harmony as much as I like to sing lead. So that was, it was a lot of fun. <laughs> um, it was a lot of fun doing that. Yeah. So uh, the new um, album is out. Congratulations on that. Thank you. Thank you. It's called It's About Time. It's About Time. Mm-hmm. Is that is that because that's how you were feeling about it? Or is it be- <laughs> <laughs> like, like were, were you waiting for a while on this one? Yes, actually. You know, I've, I've always um, played music. I guess as a, a side job, a secondary job. You know, I was I was a teacher um, through my adult life, and I finally had the opportunity to retire. And during during all these years, people have said, "When are you going to put out a CD? When are you going to put out a CD?" But honestly, I just didn't have the time to do it. Yeah. So as, as soon as I retired, I was able to finish writing songs that I'd been wanting to write for all the you know all these years and get in the studio and do it. And when I told people that I was, I'm in the studio, I'm doing the CD, and almost everyone said, well, it's about time. <laughs> so I just felt like it, <laughs> that I, I needed to name the CD that. <laughs> Actually, it's funny how much those life experiences come into naming stuff. You're like, I'm just going to call it what it is. Yeah. It's about time. <laughs> that's, that's, yeah. that's exactly right. That's exactly right. Now, now Susan, oh. when you were a teacher, did, did you teach music? Or what did you teach? No, actually, I was a special ed teacher oh, um, and okay. a counselor. Right? Yeah. So it makes you perfect for dealing with people in the bars that you have to play with. You've got a, <laughs> you've got a compassion. <laughs> that's true. Uh, that that's been brought up more than once. <laughs> yeah, it's interesting because those are two very different worlds. You know, education and working in bars at night. I mean, that those uh, oftentimes clubs, bars, places like that. But it's it's interesting because. It seems like with music that part of what people need in their day-to-day lives, especially right now with so much sort of stress and anxiety in the world, that we need a place where we can go and listen to some music and kind of let it go. Well, that's yeah, that that's absolutely true. That is absolutely true, you know, <laughs> teaching people to, to have stress relievers and, and things that bring them joy. Right, so, right, exactly. For, for sure music does that for everyone, I think. Okay. Now, now Susan- yeah, I used to talk to my students about that. Did you really? Yes, I'm sorry. Yes. Mm-hmm. That's kind of cool. I like it when teachers are able mm-hmm. to bring real-world things into life, even if you're, quote, not a music teacher, to be able to say, look, music is part of relaxation. Music right. is a part of enjoyment. Music is a part of day-to-day. It's okay to find ways to, to, to de-stress. A- absolutely. Absolutely. Yes. yes. Now, uh, now Susan, you're, you come from Illinois, correct? I do. I grew up in central Illinois on a farm. Yes. Okay. Now, what's... oh, you're a farm girl. Oh, wow. I am. I am. <laughs> so, when, wait. So, when does a farm girl get interested in the blues? Well, you know, it was it was a journey, a process, as everything in life is. Um, in my my household where I grew up, there were two kinds of music: country and western. Yes. And um, <laughs> so, I, and and I love country music. I I real and to this day, I still do. Um, but I actually. You know, initially I had several country bands when I when I started um, playing out, um, and then at some point uh, in my career, I got a job up near Chicago and um, just started exploring. You know, the world of music up here, and as, as I got older, in addition to that, I guess my voice was getting deeper and and more raspy, yeah. and. Um, People used to say to me, you know, your voice is so perfect for the blues. <laughs> so, you know, I just started listening to the, you know, more to the blues. And, of course, when I lived around Chicago, I just became immersed, exactly. really, in, in the blues and, and absolutely fell in love. I mean, I'd always liked it. I'd always enjoyed it. But I, I really, you know, felt almost a calling to it. You know, the, the music spoke to me and, and the words spoke to me. And, and so I just started doing blues more and more until I kind of, it kind of evolved to where that's the majority of what I do. How did you uh, first... Although so- I can still belt out a mean Patsy Cline. <laughs> <laughs> I'll bet you can. So how did you uh, first learn uh, bass playing, Susan? What, what was that like? Okay, well, you know, I grew up uh, playing piano. Um, and so I, I had a you know pretty solid musical background from from that aspect and and I sang too when I was a kid but the first band that I was asked to be in um I, you know they they auditioned me to be the the singer and I wasn't playing an instrument they actually didn't have a bass player in the band the keyboard player who was just amazing was you know running the bass line with his left hand 
And the other guys in the band, they were very nice guys, but a couple times they made comments about that I shouldn't be getting paid the same as them because I wasn't playing an instrument. Oh, and so it, vocals it, aren't a musician? Mm. Apparently not, at that, you know, in, in their minds. And so it really hurt my feelings because I was doing all the singing. <laughs> yeah, were you like, I, they're here for me, buddies? <laughs> <laughs> well, I just thought it was a joint venture and we were, you know, all putting in what we, you know, what we do. Yes. So I was talking, I was talking to the keyboard player about it, who was a friend of mine, and he said, oh, just go buy yourself a bass and learn how to play bass. <laughs> and, and, and was it and eff- was it effortless, or did you, uh, <laughs> did you, did, did it, you? It, it wasn't very hard, I think, because I, um, I had the background from playing piano. Right. So, and that's what he kind of encouraged me. He said, you already have the musical theory background. It'll be easy for you to pick up. And it, it, it was fairly easy. Um, and within three months, uh, I was doing at least some of the songs, you know, on the gigs. Um, with them as the bass player. And he, you know, of course, he just let me sort of ease into it. Whatever songs I had learned, those would be the ones I would do. And if I hadn't learned the song yet, I'd put the bass down and just sing. So it was, it was probably the best piece of musical advice anyone's ever given me in my whole life because I don't think it would have ever occurred to me to do that. Yeah. And now you, you run the show with the vocals and the bass. And the bass. Right. So, yeah. You know, I, I haven't had to hire a bass player since. <laughs> yeah, and it's so interesting that you say that because I also happen to know that you play with your partner who is also a bass player. Yes, yes. That's one of the, I think, probably the most unique thing about our CD. The whole CD is, is played with two basses. So, yes. so because I've so I've seen you know Tedeschi Trucks has double drummers. I've, you know, I've seen right. lots of guitar players, but I've haven't. Mm-hmm. I can't. I, just my background. I can't think of one that has two bass players. How do you guys work that out? Like, what are the what are the differences? Is one person the solid and one person's more <clears throat> like the 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 details? Like, what? How do you fit that I, together? I, you're absolutely right, Jenny. Um, I I keep the groove with you know the the bass line. And, um, of course, I'm, you know, singing, too. And Daryl is such an amazing bass player. Um, I mean, his, his abilities just just knock me out every time I hear him. Um, when we started dating, of course, it's like, well, I guess we'll never be able to play together because, <laughs> you know, we're both bass players. And he's like, well, don't be so sure. And so we would kind of mess around with stuff, you know, at home. And he's a very melodic player. Yeah. And, and, you know, it's very easy for him to play solos and leads and, and everything. So, And he, he had a major in music. So he hears things, you know, differently, I guess. So he's always about playing parts around what I'm playing. Wow, cool. So, he, you know, so he never plays in the same octave that I'm playing in. And he he almost never plays, you know, what I'm playing. It's always to add something extra, to add something special to it. And um, and then of course, you know, he did a lead on almost every song, as you know, in addition to the guitar player. And we just thought, well, wouldn't that be unique? I mean, that's you're always trying to find something that'll make people remember you, you know? Absolutely. So that we thought we'd give that a shot, and. Um, it's amazing how many people say before they hear us, they're like, two bass players, that'll never work. <laughs> then they hear us play, and then they're like, oh, my gosh, that totally works. <laughs> well, people forget how, right. how much of a solo instrument the bass can be if people give it a chance. <laughs> right. Well, exactly. You know, And, and he, um, he always plays at least a five-string, and actually then he started looking for a six-string to kind of um, – add to what we were doing because we were also recording um, an EP that was just the two basses and my vocals. Oh, wow. Nothing else, just two basses and my vocals, which turned out amazing as well. Sweet. And, uh, yeah, so we ended up finding a seven-string bass. So on, on the duo EP, he's playing a seven-string bass while I'm, I'm playing a four-string. And it's, it almost sounds more like a cello, really, in a lot of places, you know, because he can play that upper register. That's so cool. Awesome. So much more. Well, yeah. Susan Williams, we're so excited about your your uh, new CD that's out called It's About Time. Um, I got a text that someone said, 
have, has Susan Williams been to Decorah? And I said, yes. She, uh, so I texted back, but I could also say this on air. Susan was the bass playing nun at the Halloween party a couple years ago when the A.B. Wow. Grouse band played because we needed a bass player, and Susan That's right. is awesome yeah. at filling in. She also kicked butt as uh, the nun. Sister, so. Sister Basie. <laughs> Sister Basie, yes. Mm-hmm. Sister Susan. Cong- <laughs> that was a good time. <laughs> that was so much fun. So, that was so su- much fun. I was thrilled. Susan, before we you. let you go and listen to the last song, where can we get your music? Where can people go and find out more about your new CD? Um, I, it's actually on CD Baby now. Um, it, you know, in addition to, of course, you can get hard copies uh, from me you know, on, at my shows and, and by contacting me uh, at SusanWilliamsBand at gmail.com. But now it's much easier because I've got it on CD Baby. And so people can order right off of there. Perfect. We love it. Well, right. we are going to play another track, and um, I picked the first one. So, John, you get to pick the second song. I already know what you picked. So, <laughs> I picked uh, love. I, I picked love. What you do, Susan? Uh, can, can you tell us about that song? Um. Yeah, that's it's really interesting. Um, I told you I used to I used to play country. So when I was first writing songs, you know, years ago, ev- everything was coming out as a country song. I mean, you know, it, that's just the way it would it would. Uh, end up and so when i first wrote that song it was very much a country song and i had to really i I wanted to revamp it to be able to put it on this cd so i really had to rework it and rework it to to get it you know to have more of a blues feel um but i i ended up being i really pleased with with how it turned out and and i've gotten a lot of good feedback so i must have done okay (laughs) all right it feels good i believe you (laughs) well S- Susan Williams, this has been so much fun, and it's fun to know you personally, but it's also really fun to be able to uh, expose your music and what you're doing to to the audience that uh, that I think is really going to enjoy what you have to offer. And I appreciate this so much. It's been so great talking to you. We're with the Susan Williams band. Susan Williams on the phone with us, and again, the new album is out. It's called It's About Time. <laughs> yes, it is. <laughs> all right, Susan, all the best to you. Thanks a lot. Thank you, Jenny. Thank you both. You bet. Here's Love What You Do. You know, now ever since the day that I first set eyes on you, you've had me doing anything in the world that you want me to. Cause I love what you do When you do what you do to me I say I love what you do When you do what you do to me Oh baby I say I love what you do When you do what you do to me I can't speak I can't eat You know That you are gonna love me to death That's why I love what you do When you do what you do to me Thank you. 
Do what you do when you do what you do to me. Mm-hmm. 